you should be concerned because just about every bit of technology that exists is filled with some sort of a spying device. So the truth is going to be found out soon. Take a look at this article from CNN Money. Your TV might be watching you. Today's high-end televisions are almost all equipped with smart PC-like features including internet connectivity, apps, microphones, and cameras. But a recently discovered security hole in some Samsung smart TVs enables hackers to remotely turn on the TV's built-in cameras without leaving any trace of it on the screen. So while you're watching TV, a hacker anywhere around the world could be watching you. Samsung quickly fixed the problem, but the glitches speak to a larger problem of gadgets that connect to the internet, but have virtually no security to speak of. Things like security cameras, lights, heating control systems, and even door locks and windows are now increasingly coming with features that allow users to control them remotely. Without proper security controls, there's little to stop hackers from invading users' privacy, stealing personal information, or spying on people. Now, it's not just the NSA and hackers that you have to worry about watching you through your TV. We had a really great Paul Revere entry that demonstrated another creepy peeper. Voice attorney, we believe that it's your life to live. It shouldn't have to be cheaper to keep her. That's right, advertisers are going to be paying attention to see if you're fighting with your wife or how they can market to you by watching you through your television. Amazing. You can watch the rest of that at uh, Infowars.com slash Paul. Now remember last year when the Pentagon and Booz Allen and Raytheon were hiring all those hackers? Well, now we know why. It's because they're busy hacking into every area of our lives. The FBI taps hacker tactics to spy on suspects. Law enforcement officials ex are expanding the use of tools such as spyware to evade wiretaps. Federal agencies have largely kept quiet about these capabilities, but court documents and interviews with people involved in the programs provide new details about how the hacking tools, including spyware, are delivered to computers and phones through email or web links. These are techniques more commonly associated with attacks by criminals. Now, the use of such communications, which can't be wiretapped like a phone, is called going dark among law enforcement. With such technology, the Bureau can remotely activate the microphones in phones running Android software to record conversations. It can do the same to microphones in laptops without the user knowing. The Bureau typically uses hacking in cases involving organized crime, child pornography, or counterterrorism. But the U.S. officials, they say they're loath to use these tools when investigating a hacker, out of fear the suspect will discover and publicize the technique. The government sure has been doing a lot of hiring lately to beef up their COINTELPRO. Perhaps it's because they're trying to nudge us into a comfort zone with all of this spying. A DOD public affairs meeting that made news on the Drudge Report and Infowars.com showed just how concerned the government is that they're losing the information war. They're no longer able to control information with just a handful of journalists now that we have alternative media and the Internet. As one of the persons attending pointed out... The younger generations get it, that we have to start being honest and forthright. Mm -hmm. And it's difficult to convey those ideas and convince the chain of command, you're putting out mindless propaganda, is what some of us feel that we're putting out, and that what the American people feel that we're putting out. So how do we change this? Those inside the military and the government know that it's propaganda, but the government is still pushing ahead with its efforts in the info war. In this breaking exclusive news from InfoWars, Social Security is looking to hire COINTEL agents. The job listing says the position is responsible for complex assignments to establish and maintain the Social Security Administration's defensive counterintelligence operations, collaboration, intelligence, and information sharing missions. Intelligence operations are not just about reconnaissance. They're also about control, about shaping public opinion through the information that they release. And with baby boomers retiring, a bankrupt government barring astronomical amounts, and a younger generation of workers who will be enslaved to pay for it, government is going to have to work very hard to put a happy face on history's largest Ponzi scheme. So Social Security is hiring propagandists 
and a prohibition against our own government using propaganda in America that goes back to the beginning of the Cold War, the Smith-Munt Act being repealed. And if it couldn't be more obvious, Washington is now touting a new kind of behavioral modification that they call nudging. Nudge is a term that was coined by Cass Sunstein in a 2008 book of the same name. It was put into place by the UK government in 2010 and now they are privatizing the program for profit. Fascism and propaganda. Big Brother meets Madison Avenue. And of course, this is nothing new. This has been going on since the days of Edward Bernays. What is new, however, they're no longer trying to hide what they do. They're losing the Infowar, but they're going to step up their game. For InfoWars Nightly News, this is David Knight.